All right, I'm gonna be doing a quick update for January. I should have done this maybe 10 days ago, but here we are. I'm hoping you're doing well this new season, this new year. Um, I wanted to start with a quick card pull. Um, kind of, I wanted to test what the energy of January looks like, what we're heading into, what we should be working on. Um, we wanna be reminded that we are the pillar of light. Your vibration is rising and you are the oracle. Recognizing that you are already powerful, that you're already who you're meant to be. All the energy is already flowing through you. It's just recognizing it and stepping into it. The next card I got was Sisterhood of the Rose, Beauty and Devotion, Priestess, Mystic, Teacher. And it's like, this is who we are. This is our power. We're stepping into it. We're stepping into who we are meant to be. And the thing is, who we're meant to be, we've already been that. A lot of us have been put here on this earth mission because we're naturally healers. We're naturally gifted in this realm of spirituality. Just our presence alone could uplift the room. And I know a lot of empaths have that ability. It's just that we have to know to protect ourselves. Fill our own cup up first. Make sure we're taking care of ourselves. Then we could do the work to help others. And like I said, by helping others is just being you. Doing the things you like doing. Having fun. Living your life. Telling stories. The last card, protection. Call your power. Call back your power. Cut the cords. Soul retrieval. So we're still doing deep healing, and I think this has been happening a lot throughout all the collective, through everything we've been doing. All of last year, the year before that, there's a lot of trauma, a lot of damage that we've dealt with. A lot of us breaking ourselves apart just to make ends meet, just to exist in this reality. We have to call those broken parts of us back and offer them love. Doing the shadow work, doing the journaling, doing the meditation and breathing. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start with a bit of Reiki. I'll start with a bit of pulling in a second. I'll be pulling away any heavy or dark energy that you wanna let go of. And so what that normally means is any fear, any doubt, any limiting beliefs. Allow this moment for those to kind of fade away, drift away. What I normally want to, no, well, what I normally do when I do this is kind of taking that heavy energy, sending it into the earth, and asking the earth to transmute it into light, kind of shifting that perspective, shifting your mind. And this is a meditation, and feel free if you want. You could look at the screen. You could just listen. Know this energy is still being sent to you, meant for your healing, meant for your highest and greatest good. I know if you're watching this, you're on the healing journey. And I think the healing journey is amazing and it's beautiful and it is a lot of work. A lot of people when they experience this Reiki, they find themselves crying a lot because they feel those unhealed wounds kind of coming up. But it's kind of like when you hurt yourself, that's the wound we deal with in the moment. So whatever comes up, that's probably the most dominant wound in the moment that we kind of have to take a closer look at and see what caused it how did we get here why does it hurt but in this moment just take a moment to relax deep breathing just breathing in slowly breathing out allowing that heavy energy to fade away if you want Kind of imagine yourself standing in sunlight, standing in the warmth, the golden radiance. Imagine that warm energy removing and lifting any of the heaviness around you, allowing yourself to be free, allowing yourself to connect back with you, with your inner self. We have to remember what we are, just we're souls, we're spirits, having a very human experience. We should be gentle with ourselves. I think a lot of us struggle with that. Because we're born, we grow up, we're being told what we need to do, what society needs of us, what the greater collective needs of us. This is the way it's been all this time. Nothing's ever changed, but I think a big change is coming and I think we're heading to a place where we need to change and evolve and change our way of thinking. I say it a lot, we spend maybe the first like 30 years of our lives learning everything that we need to about this world to understand it. 
And then after that, it's either we continue with the programming that was given to us that we needed to survive, or we break out of those patterns. And if you're here, you're probably a cycle breaker. A cycle breaker being someone that knows and feels in their heart that something's wrong, something's off. You could see people operating and existing within patterns and cycles that don't really serve them, that don't serve their highest and greatest good. But you can't understand why that's happening. And so in those 30 years, the brain gets programmed in this way, where it learns that this if person A does this, I do this. And if I do this, person A might do this or this. And just the program. We have to know when to step away from certain things. We need to allow space to heal, to look at the bigger picture out of everything. Lean into our true power and who we are. Spending that time alone, reading, meditating, journaling, creating. You could be a writer, you could be a painter, dancer, singer, musician. I'm sending you a bit of light. This energy is meant to heal through every chakra, every system. Sensing the energy a bit. I'm sensing a bit of heaviness in the heart um, and the third eye. I use a bit of um, amethyst, celestial wand, dragon tooth, they call it. And so, what this is, what it heals is the mind and the heart. And if you're working on your intuition and making your intuition powerful or stronger or trusting it more, this is something I'd recommend. Just tapping into the energy. Knowing that you're intuitive, knowing that you have that inner knowing that you need in this reality. Trust your power, trust your energy. Taking a deep breath in. You're slowly exhaling. Feeling any heaviness or denseness or darkness fading away. I feel your energy and I feel your light. You are on an amazing path and you're doing an amazing job. Everything that you're doing. You might not feel like it, but every day and every step that you take is a step closer to you, to yourself, to your true self, to uncovering what you want to become. I'm gonna switch it up again. Let's do, do some clearing of the throat chakra. I'll use some blue kyanite for that. Kind of cutting away anywhere where you feel like your boundaries might have been overstepped. Allowing power for you to be able to speak your boundaries more. To speak them more clearly. Know that you're powerful. Know that you're magical and protected. Allow yourself to connect more with your gifts and your spirituality. Just you as a person. Like I said before, I know it's cold, I know it's hard to get out in nature, I know it's difficult, I know meditation is difficult, but combine those things. Visualize yourself in somewhere in nature that you enjoy being, somewhere that you want to travel to, somewhere you want to go. Just tap into that energy and see what it feels like to be there, because that's the thing with manifestation. If you want something, you have to tap into the vibration of what it is, who you are, where you want to go. It could be a roller coaster, but you have to trust. Trust that you're on the right path. Know that you're healing. Taking another deep breath in. And just slowly exhaling. Letting go. Imagine light kind of surrounding you, washing away any darkness that's there, sending you healing. For the last part, 
I kind of want you to imagine being surrounded by a golden orb of light, of energy. Kind of like being in an egg. You know, that's just, that's a shield. It's a shield of Reiki that I'm sending to you to protect you, to shield you. Allow it to block out any negativity, any heaviness, any darkness. And allow only light to filter within it. Imagine that golden radiance surrounding you and protecting you, always there with you. All right. And thank you for hanging out, spending some time with me. I hope this helped. I look forward to updating this channel more and posting more content. Until then, I hope you all have fun. I hope you have a safe January. Talk to you soon.